Today we use Excel for project and value management. In a previous video, we discussed how to calculate schedule and cost variances, which can provide early indicators of deviations from planned project baseline. The link to that video can be found in the description below. Now, because time is money, we want to use Excel to express both schedule and cost variances in dollar values. We work on an Excel template to calculate schedule variance or SV, cost variance or CV, schedule performance index or SPI, cost performance index or CPI, estimated time at completion or ETC, and cost estimate at completion or EAC. You can follow along by getting the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. Let's focus on a data center project with a planned budget of $8 million. And we can follow only four simple steps in Excel to complete the Earn Value Analysis or EVA for our project. Step one is to establish project baseline and calculate plan value based on budgeted cost of activities. Let's start by analyzing the provided spreadsheet accounting for five project activities, starting with installing servers and storage devices and ending with documentation and handover of the data center. Project activities are started in July and will be completed by the end of December. We are three months into the project and our analysis date for EVA is at the end of September. We are able to establish the project baseline by finding activity planned values or PV. For the first activity, click on the relevant cell and press the equal sign. Then use the sum function to add up monthly costs. The formula is then duplicated for all project activities. We can quickly find project baseline or total plan value of $8 million by adding up activity PVs. This concludes the first step in project earn value management using Excel. Step 2 is to track the actual progress of project activities using site reports and measure actual costs incurred. We should monitor project logs and field reports to understand the actual progress rate of activities. In our project, the first activity has progressed 100%. The next activity of configuration and setup meant to be completed by the end of September, but currently has only 80% progress. Testing and validation have also a lower than planned progress of 35%. Interoperability testing is ahead of its planned schedule by having 10% progress at the end of September. In every project, we should review subcontractor invoices and payment requests to validate work completed and accurately find actual costs or AC. This figure at the end of September is $4,100,000. Now we have concluded the second step in project earn value management using Excel. Step 3 is to measure the work completed or earn value against the planned schedule and budget. So far, we have used relevant data sources to obtain accurate information on the actual progress of project activities and actual costs incurred by the end of September. Now, we should measure activity earn values by multiplying progress percentages and activity planned values. Following that, we can calculate project earn value or EV by clicking on the relevant cell and pressing the equal sign. Then use the sum function to add up activity EVs to find 3,387,500 as the project EV. We can also calculate PV by the end of September by adding up all budgeted costs of activities until this point in time. The result is $3,950,000, which is larger than our earn value and warrants a thorough analysis of variances. This concludes the third step in project earn value management using Excel. Step 4 is to calculate EVA metrics to control project deviations from planned objectives. Schedule variance or SV is typically calculated in dollar values to integrate cost and schedule performance metrics. We can find SV by clicking on the relevant cell and pressing the equal sign. First choose EV then deduct PV from the end of September. The negative SV shows deviations from the planned project schedule meaning that our data center project is having delays in achieving project milestones. Next, we can find cost variance or CV, which is N value minus the actual cost. The negative CV of 712,500 shows that project suffers from budget overrun and consumes more financial resources than initially allocated or planned. Following CV, we should calculate schedule performance index or SPI. For that, click on the relevant cell and press the equal sign. Then divide N value by planned value. An SPI less than 1 means that our data center project is completing work at a slower rate than originally planned. Tasks are taking longer to complete, leading to schedule slippage and delays in achieving milestones. Finally, we can calculate cost performance index or CPI, which is earn value divided by actual cost. The CPI of 0.83, which is less than 1, means that the project actual cost are higher than what was budgeted for at the end of September. This indicates that our project is spending more money than planned to achieve its objectives. 
This concludes the fourth step in project earn value management using Excel. The beauty of this project control technique is to predict when our project is likely to be completed based on the current rate of progress and expected future performance. To calculate project ETC, divide the planned project duration of six months by the scheduled performance index. We see that based on the current rate of progress, the project is expected to be completed in seven months. This indicates the risk of our project exceeding its planned duration of six months. We can also calculate cost estimate at completion or EAC by dividing the planned budget of $8 million by cost performance index. The high EAC of 9,682,657 indicates our data center project is expected to exceed its planned budget. This cost overrun could result from various factors such as unexpected expenses, scope changes, resource constraints, or inefficiencies in cost management. And there you have it, an easy management of project earn value using only four simple steps in Microsoft Excel. Again, you can access the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. To watch more videos like this, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you in the next one.